Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley and today we're going to be talking about the Volkswagen ID4 and all the tech that's involved. Let's get started. Let's start at the front and work our way back outside, inside, and let's take a drive and then. So, light is the new chrome, one of the Volkswagen designers says after saying so. It's all about lighting elements in that design of not just this car, you can see a lot of cars are using lights. So what you will get in some markets is you'll get an illuminated Volkswagen badge, uh, and you'll also get this bar along the front here, uh, will be illuminated. And then every single headlight is going to be LED, and then there's going to be different levels of LED technology, uh, depending on the trim level that you have. Uh, so you're going to have what's called IQ lights. Um, and there's going to be a feature where the um, headlight itself will have a spherical, nearly like an eyeball. And they've done this as a design element so that it looks more um, human-like. And it's also going to move up and down and wiggle around when you uh, turn the car on and off or you approach it. Uh, and then you're going to have the LED matrix headlight system, which is going to be with the ability of having full beam on the road at all times. Uh, and then it won't uh, be dazzling drivers. And so you literally have to turn on the lights. They'll automatically come on anyway. Um, but this, with this feature, it, with that LED modules that are inside in the headlight, they're able to black out elements of the road and this footpath. So they're literally just uh, illuminating the road, the part that you're on. And if there's oncoming traffic, they'll dip the lights down on that. So the lighting feature and the lighting tech is top notch on the ID4. Lighting on the rear of the ID4 is as important as on the front. And again, depending on your trim will dictate as to what type of tail lights you have in it. Uh, if it's the top trim, you're gonna have the first time that Volkswagen have done a 3D LED rear tail light. Um, and these tail lights have di directional uh, indicators. They have opening and closing sequences. So depending on the level will dictate, and you also have that cross uh, solid, um, full cross brake light on the rear of it as well. So. Lighting has, it's not just plonking a light bulb anymore. Uh, it is, there's a lot of thought put into it. Uh, and there's a lot of design cues and styling elements that are important to it as well. So again, dictating, depending on the level of trim that you have will dictate uh, what type of tail light you have. Uh, so you'll be able to tell the difference when you spot these out in the road. Also some tech that you're gonna have with the ID4, and again, depending on the trim, is whether you have the open close where you put your foot in underneath and it'll automatically open up uh, with a power tail gif, or, or if it's a manual one like this one, and um, with the button in underneath, and it opens all the way up. Uh, this one is manual, as I mentioned, so you have, you can see your, your reversing camera in underneath there, um, rather than historically on the ID3, it comes out from underneath the, uh, the badge itself. Last bit of tech we're gonna talk about on the outside is you have some uh, puddle lights or welcome lights in underneath the side mirrors that project onto the ground so you can see what's there when you're getting in or getting out. You also have illuminated door handles, again, depending on your trim. Uh, and the door handle and the, key, the entry to the car is a nice piece of tech. It's, a lot of cars have this as well, but it's nice to have it on the ID4. So when you're holding the key, you can just walk up, uh, open the door, and also then once you get in, you don't even have to press the start stop button. Uh, it will be um, just engage the, the mode that you want and you can drive away. So uh, it's a nice, uh, very effortless way of getting in and getting out and starting the car that you're getting in out. Let's have a look at the tech inside. When you get into the car, you'll notice that there's a strip of LEDs right at the bottom of the windscreen and they call, Volkswagen call that the ID light. And it's a way of them visually communicating different scenarios too, but also that uh, a voice recognition is, is be, has been picked up, number one. Number two, it is very good with like satellite navigation. It's kind of like has a swooping um, momentum or movement. So you, it's kind of another way, as much as it's on the actual sat nav, it's sat nav itself, as much as it's when you have the augmented reality heads up display, you'll have that there as well. But it's just another way of subtly letting you know, okay, you need to be turning left here, you need to turn be turning right here. I really like it. It'll flash red if it feels that there's a collision gonna happen. It will, um, go green and the bar itself will be the length of uh, charge 
so you can visually see from the outside how much charge you've got left. So there's a couple of different ways that the ID light will help you tech-wise. When you get in, you start the engine, you'll see the ID light blinking up and letting you know that it's active and it will, um, depending on what the situation is, unlocking or locking, it'll let you know that via light signals. Uh, it'll also figure, let you know that you've, you've activated the voice assistant. Please drive to the route shown. So I'll engage something on the nav satellite nav so you can see how the ID light operates uh, and it'll catch it there on the action camera. So you'll start to see a swiping left blue light moving across the bottom of the dash uh, regarding the navigation. Uh, it's very good and just, you can see it there now, really, really good. Let's turn off that navigation so it's not going to... Perfect. Um, so the heads-up display will also show you distance from the car in front of you. It'll show you whether you're in the right lane. It'll also bring up this augmented reality arrows. So very much like the ID light, it's all about these subtle clues. So on the windscreen in front of you, you'll start to see these arrows appear. Um, translucent arrows and they get bigger as you're coming towards the junction. Um, Amazing. I really, really, really like that piece of tech. Uh, it's my favorite piece of tech on the ID4. When I talk to people about it, they're like, it's not distracting. No. I think once you have it, then you'll be reliant on it. So it's great. Another, another piece of tech that the ID4 has that I really like is the um, Car2X information transfer, transform protocol. Uh, it uses Wi-Fi-P, it has a radius of 800 meters, and what they're using it for in this use case is uh, collision avoidance, also potentially down the line smart city infrastructure, the likes of changing of traffic lights, and then you have um, the use case, which I think is the most interesting, uh, and from my own personal background, I used to be in the fire service for 14 years, and you'd be driving along in the fire engine, and cars wouldn't know what way you were coming from, wouldn't know whether they were to start, stop, pull in, and so what this system will do is, it will, uh, as long as the emergency vehicle has the same uh, technology, it will let the car know where the emergency vehicle is coming from. So lots of cool tech uh, in that ID4. Along with that, inside in the cabin, you have the likes of uh, more aesthetical stuff with the ambient light. You've got 30 different light shades. Then you also have, depending on the model, you'll have a wireless pad for your phone. Um, and then you'll also have the uh, larger touch screen. Uh, so that be, sometimes it can, depending on the trim level, will dictate it might be a 10 inch or it might be a 12 inch. Hopefully you're enjoying the review. If you can leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and let it, leave a comment and let me know what you think of the ID4 uh, and the tech that's included in it. Um, I get back to all my comments as I mentioned. Hey ID, I'm too cold. No problem, it will get warmer at the front right shortly. That's my look around the tech that's going to be coming with the Volkswagen ID4. This car is going to be a game changer globally. It's going to be made in Chattanooga in the US. It's going to be made in Europe, obviously in Germany. And then it's also going to be made in China. So it is going to be a global uh, electric SUV. Hopefully you've enjoyed the review of all the tech that's going to be coming with it. Let me know in the comments if you've ordered one and what spec level did you go for. Uh, also let me know what, spec, what piece of tech would be your most favorite if you haven't already won. Maybe you're not ordering one at all, but you just think it's a really cool piece of tech. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Uh, leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments uh, what you really think. It's a great way of showing engagement and I get back to every single comment. Remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thanks for watching. <laughs>